I'm really excited about how the private space industry has evolved. We've gone from a few companies that have found uh, good ways to make money through space systems to a, a growth uh, that uh, includes new rocket companies, new communications companies, new imaging companies. There are services that, and, uh, and applications in space that can be commercially viable and the investment in space right now is opening up the door to, to new opportunities that I believe will change the way that we do space and change the way that we live. The, the advancements that SpaceX has made are particularly interesting because on the one hand they're serving the nation, they're serving NASA, and providing a service uh, through delivery of goods and eventually astronauts to the space station at a cost that is much, much lower than NASA had been able to do in the past. And this public-private partnership is good for the country and good for them as a company. At the same time, after their success back in June, when they first interfaced the or first docked the, uh, the Dragon capsule to the International Space Station. Immediately following that, commercial telecommunications companies started to sign up contracts with SpaceX for launches. And so on the one hand, the public-private partnership is a very strong indication of their growth and their, and their ability to do work for the government. On the other hand, their service to the, to the private industry of telecommunications, which has been a strong sector in space for a long time, shows their potential and their, and their ability and their impact already. What Red Bull Stratos and Felix Baumgartner showed us is the power that space has to excite people, to interest people. They had an incredibly successful live YouTube event where people from around the world watched his jump and his success. And the brand Red Bull was uh, then associated with something exciting and something important. Around the world, they were able to realize the gains that they set out to achieve through Red Bull Stratos through this jump from the edge of space by getting eyes on their product, on their brand. Uh, the power of space to do good marketing is, is alive and well. I believe that the future of the space industry is uh, a strong public-private partnership where it makes sense. Uh, public only exploration and scientific endeavors for things that might not have an immediate commercial uh, element to it, but that but that in some, in some areas of, uh, of commerce, of services, that the private industry will take the lead and the private industry will do things that the government really doesn't have any business doing. Uh, telecommunications is a great example where the uh, private corporations that build and fly spacecraft for telephony and, and internet connections around the world can do so, and make money off of it, but the government doesn't need to be a part of that. On the other hand, to argue that private industry should take on building giant space telescopes to explore the origins of the universe, there's not a strong commercial market for that sort of thing. In the traditional space industry, NASA, for example, would identify a need for new cameras, new instruments, new capabilities in space, and they would provide seed funding for this technology development and allow the technology to grow through their programs until ultimately it got delivered onto a spacecraft and used in space. The private space industry is gonna need a similar mechanism where, where new ideas and innovative technologies are, are fostered at the, at the seed funding level uh, and then developed as, uh, as discoveries are made and inventions come to be so that new ideas and new technologies will serve the private space field in the, in the years to come. So here at Penn State, we are, we are about research and education. As the ninth largest research university in the country, we want to be a part of this growing space industry, providing research in areas such as material science, propulsion sciences, communications and autonomy, a whole host of fields that benefit the space industry. As the space industry shifts from primarily governmental to more and more private, who is going to do this research? Who is going to understand the private space industry and its needs. We see Penn State filling that role.